Hello and welcome to another how to in our how to game maker series. We're focusing on player movement at the moment and we put up two videos on keyboard input, one long one, one short one. And now we really want to work out how do we get any speed and direction really because all we've got so far is the ability to recognize whether we pressed a key or not. That is not going to move anything anywhere. So if we run our current game right now, we have one line of code which gives us horizontal movement, left or right. And as you can see, pressing left or right does nothing. Now, at the end of this video, we will have a notional piece of code, kind of, that shows us how to move left and right. But we will not be writing the full code, but instead we will be writing what we call pseudocode. So more English statements that will we will translate to code eventually. So let's get going. Now we are going to introduce a couple of variables called x speed and y speed and they will be used to control how many pixels our player will move every frame. If we didn't have those variables, we wouldn't really be able to do what we're trying to do. And that will become apparent very soon. So what do we need to do with this move horizontal? Because we know this is either gonna be one, zero or minus one as the user presses the right and left keys. So we want to write some code that tells us where to move or how to move our player. Now, as an example, let's just say we wanted to move our player across the screen. We could easily do this x equals x plus three. Or oh, I'm going to rewrite that as x plus equals three, which is the same thing. It just means add three to x. It's a short way of saying x equals x plus three. Now, I want you to note this green variable, this green color here, a green color means that this is recognized and is a, a known variable or a known property of this object. And X represents the X coordinate of the object in the game room. So if X was zero, the player would be right at the left hand side. And if X was whatever the width of this is. Let's have a quick look. If X were 640, then it would be right over here. And in fact, we can find out what X is by looking at the instance layer properties here. Object player 32256, that's the current coordinate of x, 32, 2, 5, 6, so x is 32. Going back, so if you see a green uh, keyword, as in variable, um, there are others like y, there is image. Here we go. It's a built-in variable. Game Maker gives us all for free. Image index, there's sprite index, and we use these things to change various properties of our player as we go. We are just concentrating on X, possibly Y today. So if we said X equals X plus three, this, remember, this is the step event and it happens very quickly, many times a second, for every second that the game is in play or alive or running. So, that means three is going to be added to X every 60th of a second. So it should move 
180 pixels in a second, 60 times 3. If the width is 640, then it's going to take approximately, I would say, three and a half seconds to move across the screen because it's going to be adding three every 60th of a second. So you're going to see the player or this red square just move across like this. So if we run it, let's see what we get. I've got to drag this up from my other windows as it when it gets on the screen. There we go. So you saw it moving across and it keeps on going because it keeps adding three to X, which is not ideal for a game. Obviously, this is a demonstration to show you how eventually we're going to get to move X the right amount. And what we're going to do ultimately is X equals X plus X speed. Now, X speed is a variable that we are going to create in here. In fact, I'm going to create it now. X speed equals zero. We do not need the var. If you use var, you're creating a temporary variable and that will not exist outside of this create event. We want this variable to exist for as long as the player is on screen. So we just create it like this without the var and turns sort of violet. And we know that's an object variable, an object property. So we ultimately want to say x equals x plus x speed because in the code before it, we're going to be doing something like work out what value x speed should be. And once we've worked it out, we set it and we add it to x. Remember, it could be positive, it could be negative. As we're moving right, it'll be positive. If we're moving left and pressing the, the left arrow key, x speed will be negative and we've got to move it left. So that is ultimately what we're trying to do. So the code that we are going to write now is what I call kind of pseudo code. It's, it's sort of English that we will eventually translate to code. And this will basically be exactly what we need to move the player either left or right and potentially up or down as well if we're doing a top-down game. So we want to first look at what move horizontal is and if move horizontal is one then set x speed to let's say five actually no let's say three the higher the number the faster it's going to go right because if i set it to five it's going to move it five pixels every frame so it's going to go much faster so if move horizontal is one if that means if i'm pressing the right key keyboard check vk right is one then we want the left key to not be pressed. So it's one minus zero. And in that case, we set X speed to three. Now let's copy that. So that looks good. If move horizontal is minus one, which means if the left key is pressed and the right key is not pressed, then set X speed to what? Minus three. So it's going to go left by three pixels. And that's pretty much it, right? So if I then said at the bottom set, finally, da -da -da. right, you know that comments are, are started with a double forward slash, right? And they appear in this color green. This is not code, these are just comments, okay? Comments are there to help us, written in English, they're to help us. They're not code. So I could put set apple to banana. It's not code, it's just comments. All right, finally, set x to what? 
no not three <laughs> the whole point is that we're creating a variable and we set x to whatever the variable is to x speed so if x speed is three it's going to set x to um actually that's not quite right is it so we actually want to add x speed to x don't we so we say add x speed otherwise it would always be at the coordinate three we actually want to add x speed to x so if let's say x is 32 as in it, where it was in the room that's at 32 32 256 then if I if I press the right key keyboard check right will be one keyboard check left will be zero so move horizontal will be one if move horizontal is one then set x speed to three so x speed is going to be three so we put three in the x speed bucket and finally uh, uh, let's look at this if move horizontal is minus one well it isn't so we don't do this finally add x speed to x so add three to x x is 32 so 32 plus 3 is 35 so in this frame we're going to move this guy from 32 256 to 35 256 which i can't do because the snap is on i could easily take it off but i think you get what i mean Move it to 35 in the next frame. And then in the next frame, if we're, if, we, if we're still holding down the right key, it's going to do exactly the same thing, isn't it? It's going to be 1, it's going to move, set it to 3, it's going to set x speed to 3, it's going to add another 3 to x. So it's going to move it 3 again. And so you can see, if we keep holding down the x key, it's going to keep adding 3 and move across the screen. If we take our finger off, What's going to happen? We're not pressing anything. Well, keyboard check VK right is going to be zero. Keyboard check VK left is going to be zero. So move horizontal will be zero. If move horizontal is one, it's not. So we're not going to do that. If move horizontal is minus one, we're not going to do that. Um, so X speed will be added to X. Well, what is X speed at that time? Well, we have to be careful here because initially we set it to zero. But when we set it to three, when we were moving, it stays at three. So we need to actually reset it after every frame to zero because otherwise it'll just keep on, keep on moving. It'll be three all the time. So every frame we need to reset X speed to zero. So that means let's try that um, that thought process again when we let go. So we're in the room, starting again. We're we're pressing the right key. It's moving across, moving across, moving across. We suddenly take our finger off the right key. Boom. Move horizontal is zero. Reset X speed to zero. So X speed is now zero. Good. If move horizontal is one then do that well it's not so we're not going to do it if move horizontal is minus one well it's not so we're not going to do it finally add x speed to x what is x speed well we just reset it to zero up here so we're adding zero to x which means add zero to it's not going to go anywhere add zero to x it's not going anywhere so with your finger off the trigger so to speak we're always resetting x speed to zero then our player is not going to move anywhere. However, if we now press the left key, let's just trace this through again one more time. Keyboard check VK right will be zero. Keyboard check VK left. We're pressing the left key. So keyboard check VK left is one. So zero minus one equals minus one. So move horizontal is minus one. Now reset X speed to zero. Okay, X speed is zero. If move horizontal is one, well, it's not. So we're not going to do this. If move horizontal is minus one, aha, move horizontal is minus one, then set X speed to minus three. Well, even though we've reset it to zero, because we're pressing the left key and move horizontal is minus one, we're going to set X speed to minus three. Finally, add X speed to minus three. So 
from adding minuses will subtract, right? So we're effectively subtracting minus 3 from x. So it'll go minus 3 in this way. And then if we hold down the left key, it'll go minus 3 again, and minus 3 again, and minus 3 again, and carry on until we take our finger off the left key, boom. Back to move horizontal is 0, reset x speed to 0, move horizontal is 1, no it's not. Is it minus 1? No it's not. Finally add x speed to x, add 0 to x. That means x is the same, doesn't go anywhere. And that, folks, is exactly how we use variables to move our player. Now, extending that principle, horizontally is good, but let's say you've got a top-down game, so you can move kind of north, south, east, and west, which is up, down, left, and right, another way of saying it. You will want Y speed as well. But even if you've got a platformer, you will want Y speed as well. So these are not built-in variables. Look, they are violet, not green. These are our variables. And you will want to add in a, I'm not going to do it. You can do it. Move vertical. I say vertical because on our screen, as we look at it, it's kind of going up and down. But from a top down perspective, it's going north, south, east and west, right? And you basically do a very similar line like this, but with up and down instead of right and left. And you reset y to zero. And you check if move vertical is one or minus one. And finally you add y speed to y. Easy. So that is uh, left and right movement. Now, the next video will probably focus on the logic that we convert this pseudocode to. So we will translate this to actual code. But if you think you can do it, go ahead and do it. And then in the next after that, we'll probably move on to jumping. So I hope that this made sense. Remember, variables are very important for storing values between frames so we can know what number to add to our x coordinate. And that's really all it is. We'll see you in the next video.